everyone out there and welcome to another Thursday night. It's Travis here with another another window in a 10 base loop. But I say we take a window to somewhere else. A little scenic view of our own. Just you and I, viewer. But I, I'm not going to create that whole cloth. What do you think I am? Some kind of land scientist? Nah, so tonight we got a story setting generator. Ooh, I love a good generator. It takes out so much of the legwork. So let's see what we're making tonight. ghostly metropolis on a secluded beach or tropical island in the wild west. How apropos! So we've got a wild west island. Wild west ghost island. Wild west ghost island city. Okay, this is a word salad. So word salad, we're gonna sort through and navigate together. So, without further ado, how do I... I don't know where to start. I mean, the best way to begin is by beginning. Um... I think I usually work from the front backwards, picking a subject. So I think... It's like I'm looking at a big sandwich and I'm trying to find the best way to tackle it. Like, where's my point of entry? Because yes, it's going to get eaten, but what is going to keep my face clean going into it? Is that even an option? I'm already touching it, like, how can I fit this into my mouth? Okay, so I think... Gonna go in there lining. Is it that line brush? No. It's no good for us in this particular moment. Load me a good pen. So I think. It's like, it's like visual art edging. Okay, so... So at least for like the buildings, because it is a metropolis, I'm gonna combine that and the old west town for the architecture at least. Does metropolis have to be it usually dictates that it's thriving? Hmm. And I think pretty clear out the gate, uh I'm having some issues with the thrive.
look good. We're gonna, we're gonna redo it. Even though we've got so much to get to. Simplification is key. Kind of add a another haunting element, like a nice haunting centerpiece to this town, to our ghostly town. Races around. Just going to draw some big shafts, not draw a bunch of clockwork. Trying to respect. Be respectful of both of our times here. What am I doing in October? Uh, I am not, Sizzler. Uh, I, in order to do an Inktober whenever they drop the, yeah, this is an Inktober, but I'm not doing Inktober this year. Uh, I did a couple years ago, um, but I just do not have the time to commit this month. Uh, and usually, like in years past when I've done it, I've had more time and would commit the entire month prior to uh, figuring out kind of what I wanted to do, laying it out. Um, but also, I hear there's a lot of uh, a lot of turmoil in that community. Um, a lot of people don't support Jake Parker. Uh, I haven't educated myself fully on it, but uh, I know last year I was potentially looking at doing one of the alternative one, one of the alternative month long drawing prompt. And also, thank you for the follow, Sizzler. Hope this is uh, the restaurant chain, the Sizzler, and that you're looking for a brand deal.
the drama is just drama. It's dumb. Yeah, again, I haven't looked into it at all. Uh, I'll have to do some digging because I know the the art world can be just petty. I saw it a lot whenever I was in the uh, the music scene, in the EDM scene especially. It's it's the most petty scene. It's outrageous. Especially for, you know, what's being produced, what's being provided, like, just that level of drama is entirely unwarranted. I guess I should clarify that I don't think there's any level of production that would justify the level of pettiness I've seen. Um, maybe if you were storm chasers trying to like with just a very narrow window to map out tornadoes for crucial scientific data like in the hit movie Twisters. Even then, just, just be cool, be easy. tightly. I'm just even trying to build good habits, like those, those bad ones, they sneak up on you if you let your guard down for a second. <laughs> like, if I were doing this ideally for my health, I would mount my tablet on a wall so I have to stand and draw, like, not hunch a single bit in order to draw. Just whiteboard the whole experience. But I know we don't live in an optimal world. No, not my guard. Yes, my guard! I say the entire four guard's been wiped out. And the vanguard's only been holding out by a thread. Maybe letting my guard down just means they're disappointed in me. They've been there for me, and I should be there for them. You know it's a bank, because they got a big fancy clock, and in the Wild West, ain't nobody else supporting a big fancy clock except for an institution built on stealing your money. I mean, I would argue that vaults are a, uh, a more secure measure of storing money than coffee cans buried in the front yard. But... Who bought those vaults? Banks were the only ones that could afford real time. I think 
Banks were the ones that made time such a commodity in our society. We wouldn't have such a just this go 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 mentality if it weren't for money. You know, back in the day it was, oh, it's harvest time. Three months later, oh, it's winter time. Let's have a party about it. And then, three months after that, oh, it's planting time. Better have a planting festival and get to walk it. based on our, our setting here, but, you know, I'm still, I'm still workshopping. I don't know, I don't want to pick a theme to go off of to, you know, kind of make a prevailing, prevailing tone. building this world together and if you out there in the chat have any any elements you'd like to curveball me with knock it to me you know I'm a glutton for punishment because it's an old west town an abandoned old west town we're gonna have a wagon wheel right there buried in the foreground so that there's no aspersions about how they got around some clanking here. Nice doorway. It's 
if someone tried to take it, but it was too heavy. I mean, it's a full-on wagon wheel. It's just buried here in the sand. Well, they tried to grab the wheel because they thought it would make them go faster, because wheels move faster than legs, but... Didn't quite have the technology at that time. And so I think... We're gonna rough this in real quick. With one of my favorite tools, my little ice cream man. Get a nice bluish gray going on. Beans, we are so close. But at least we got our color locked down. Let's go in again. I drew that on the wrong layer. Doesn't matter. It works! Alright, so... Ghost in Metropolis on a secluded beach or a tropical island in the wild wildlands. Alright, so we're hitting a lot of those themes. Alright, so now we're gonna... Populate this town, baby! Some... What does our transparent watercolor look? to block some folks out. Bathtub boat. I might be able to do that. But I think I have an idea going into this. Get somebody there. Here. Some folks out there. Some rabble in the background.
sort of a foreground figure to to really sell what we're going for here. Build off of those with shadows first. thinking and we'll see if this works at all is kind of like an electric yellow outline This really creates kind of like an ethereal look to them. Kind of like the ghost from uh, from Return of the King, where they kind of had that under lighting. The fire of hells that lights their faces.
Shoes are another thing that are hard to do from a million different angles. Tried my head turns, but and I'm always trying my head turns. One day hope to build the visual library of that uh That Korean artist I never remember the name of, who just has like this immense visual library and can ink out anything in an instant. Feel relative. I'm sorry, Sizzler. It just clicked in my head that uh, you were throwing me a bathtub boat as a curveball that I specifically asked for. So yeah, I will throw that in uh, momentarily. Let me flesh this out a little bit more. You did. Yeah, see, I had already rambled onto a different subject, so I always I don't always account for the latency and I apologize. But, rest assured I will include you a bathtub boat. Out here moving their dead bones, bones, bones. Fighter. 
this man out of your work in overalls. Head down. Pitchfork up. That's the way he likes to throw hay. Scribbling these hands here. Not inside, so this man gets to keep his hat on. That's the way he likes to fuck. And this absolute harlot is showing full arm. Because it's the wild, wild west. Wiki wild, wild. Let's add one last touch on our boy here. Those ghostly wandering eyes. Hey, little button nose. layer. So we've got our ghost forms. What is that? That's our line. Above this line work, I'm going to add bathtub boat. Causing some tumult here. Uh, 
soap on a rope. Adornments on the side. And I think this boat didn't just show up here. We need the pilot. I know the bathtub may seem large in comparison to the person, but it was Taft's tub. Repurposed for sailing. and clutching their heart at the sight of all these ghouls and ghosties. Much too tall ahead. So scared that monocle popped right out of the eye. Big woo guys. And give him a rubber duck on his saddle lapel, whatever that shoulder piece is called. Crawl that one in and record time. Then we're going to. Use that favorite tool again. That tool again for the hooligans. A 
we're gonna use the purple here. Get a smaller eraser and stuff right now. Finesse it. Lock those pixels. They get paler purple. So there's our boy showing up in the bathtub boat. Water is going to be kind of a deep, murky reflection of the land. Obviously, we're not doing deep colors because there's only so much time in a day. So, we'll go ahead and get our big boy out. Yeah, yee. That's for you, Sizzler. Add a little more liquid to the movement here. Create a fun scheme here. Just for the whole background. Sizzler. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's my light switch here. Somewhere over there. Out. 
que... Touches down here in the background. And if all of this seems as it was done in haste, it was. But I wanted to have something to share with you all tonight. Not just vague markings of a vision. But some, uh, some slightly more fleshed out concepts of the vision. Shadow on that ship. Watch that top hat. A little ghostly wisp coming off of it. Let's hit that background. It's almost like a slate gray. I guess the thing we took most liberties with was the secluded beach or island. But you know, what if it's uh what if it's a beach on the river Styx? They got river beaches. Just ask I mean all of Missouri. And also New York. They got beaches up there. I didn't get in that water though. I guess in either place I'm not getting in that water. 
Missouri rivers are nasty. Shape out this skull here. Don't misquote me. I will straight up say all of Missouri is nasty. And you can take that to the bank. Here's our old west town sucking into the one of the beaches on the River Six while Captain Cornelius Taft tries to sail up, surprised what he finds. Did we miss anything? I guess this is Metropolis. They got a claw. Um, we did it. Here's a. A little fleshed out render for your town, folks. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, but you know these Thursday streams, we keep them short, we keep them sweet, we keep them digestible. It's good for your colon. But may you put two coins on your eyes and sail gently off into that good afterlife. <laughs>